the more you suffer and more stress and more problems you have, the better. I know that running a business or life in general can be really hard. There is gonna be a lot of situations when you maybe regret starting that business or whatever it might be. This is something that has helped me understand why it's actually really good. You have had situations where you go through a tremendous amount of stress and you don't really know what the fuck you're doing and you feel like this is not gonna work out and you just doubt yourself and you feel like you are not good enough to do it. That is completely normal. That is just part of the game. You shouldn't take it personally because everyone has to go through that. This is the suffering success scale. And what I want you to understand that there is a direct correlation every single time with suffering and success. Of course, there can be situations when you succeed a lot without suffering, but it's gonna always stable it out on the long run. The higher you go here on the scale, the more successful you are in your own terms. The more you have money, the more you have time, the bigger the company is or the more happier you feel, whatever the fuck it might mean for you. And the more you go to the right side, the more you suffer. And here you can just measure how much you want to succeed. How successful do you want to be? If it's financial for you, it might be $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, $30,000 a month, 80, 90. You could continue this until like $10 million a month. Suffering, a pretty hard thing to put a number on. Just understand that the more we go here on the right side of the chart, the more there is suffering, stress, hard situations and obstacles. So basically, you can measure completely here. Okay, how successful do I want to be in my life? Let's say you want to be really successful. Boom, this is the level that you need to be at and you need to suffer this much. You need to go through a lot of hard times. You need to go through a lot of stress. You need to go through a lot of sleepless nights. You need to take huge risks. You will feel like you're not good enough. There is a lot of suffering to go through here. There's some stress here. There's some risks here. There's some losses here. You fuck up on a sales call. You crash the company once or twice. And there's a lot of suffering that can fit here. But then also, there's a lot of success that can fit in this area. You can buy the Bugatti finally, you can buy the penthouse, you can buy the Rolex. You don't have to stress about how much money you have on your bank account. You have sick clients, you have a crazy network, people respect you or whatever it might be. There's a lot of success here. You want to be this successful. Boom. There's not that much suffering that goes into here. Like you will have some stress, you will have some hard times. Sometimes life is not all sunshine and rainbows, but also you don't have that much success here because it just doesn't fit. You can try to cram them here, but it doesn't fit. You can't succeed without suffering without having stress. That is just a fact. And you need to just be totally fine with it because otherwise it's going to be a problem down the line when you were expecting something else. Now you might be thinking, why is this a good thing? Let's say that this is a starting point. Everyone starts from zero. There's 1 million people in the starting point and you would basically all start from the same situation in this bubble. Then what's going to happen is people are starting to move down the road and there's going to be situations where people need to decide. There's going to be decisions. And the decisions always are going to be, am I going to do a hard thing or am I going to do an easy thing? Am I going to take the risk or am I going to take the safe route. Either they're going to go here or then they're going to go here. And what's going to happen here is, of course, not as many people will go through the hard route than the safe route. You go to high school, you graduate from high school, and then you have this decision to make. Okay, will I go to college and get a safe nine to five job? Or will I take that risk? Do I make the leap and start building the business that I always wanted to build? It's really risky. I'll miss out on college. All my friends are going there. It's going to be really uncomfortable. I don't have that much money. It's not that attractive choice to make. So most people don't make it. That is just really natural. So what happens is from the million people, 900,000 people pick this and then only 100,000 people picked this. You started off by competing with million people and now you're in a group of 100,000 people. So you blew past these 900,000 people just by making one hard decision. You took some risk, you figured out the shit that you don't really know about. You figured out how to make an LLC and you moved to a different town and you left all your friends. And then again, same thing happened. People are gonna continue and there's gonna again be a situation where you need to decide. You need to go through some hard shit or then you can just take the comfortable route. 100,000 people have started to build the business. And after three, four, five months, Everyone starts to realize like, oh shit, this isn't as easy as it was meant to be. Should I just get a job and take a bit of time for myself to think about it? That's the most comfortable choice. And that is the easiest choice. And that is also the safest choice. 90,000 people are going to pick this one. And then only 10,000 people are going to pick this one. Now we're just competing against 10,000 people. And then uh, you build the business, like everything starts happening. Boom, 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 boom. They get it off the ground. All these 10,000 people get the business off the ground. And everyone's making $5,000 a month. Then there's going to be a decision. Oh shit, this choice is everyone is going out on a week weekends, everyone is just spending the money they're making. And then there's the choice. You know that you have the possibility to also take that money, take a huge risk and hire someone in-house or spend it on ads or whatever the fuck you might be investing into the business. Again, a super risky move. You might lose everything. You might crash the company. A really uncomfortable choice. So again, what happens from the 10,000 people you were competing with, right now people have been longer in the game, so not as many people are going to give up. So only 6,000 people take this route and then 4,000 people take this route. So you went from competing against 10,000 people to actually competing with 4,000. 
thousand people. And there's going to be again a lot of different situations. So let's just fast forward a bit. Should I just enjoy the money, buy a Lamborghini, and move to Dubai, or do I want to take all this money, put it in the company, build a sick team, and maybe scale from seven figures to eight figures a year? And again, throughout this journey, they have gone through a lot of hard situations. Okay, if I do this, I have to go through a lot of stress. If I go through the trees, I have to work way more than I would normally have to. There's going to always be a hard or easy way. And if you every single fucking time you pick the hard road, at the end of the day, you're going to just be separated by yourself. You have blew past all of your competition. Of course, this is going to be a long route. Like you might have to make 500 hard decisions. You need to maybe struggle for five years and go through those long nights, take those risks and go through those obstacles. But if you make the hard choice enough of times, at the end of the day, you're going to end up alone here. And what this means, this doesn't mean that you're alone in your life. This means that you can't be competed with. You have gone through so many fucking hard situations and you have taken so many risks and so much stress on you have just made the hard decision you have been disciplined you have just grinded out on every time and you could have picked the easy route you have just done it so many times that it is basically impossible to beat you and the best thing here also is every time when someone new wants to get into the same situation they're like yo look at john i want to do that as well he's making hard cam on they have to go through every single hard decision get into the same situation so every single time when you're doing something really fucking hard and stressful and you don't really know what you should be doing remember that everyone else has to also go through that same thing and remember that most people won't do it so every single time when you do something really fucking hard you're just gaining an edge over a competition that is what gets me really excited in this situation where i know like oh fuck this is gonna be hard or this is really hard and i find myself at 4 a.m scheduling 500 tweets in a row and think like yeah no one else is gonna do this so that is why you need to get super excited when you go through hard situations when you actually struggle because remember everyone else has to do the same thing and most people won't i hope this video opened your eyes a bit because this has been a huge thing that i have realized lately and which has helped me a lot when working and just going through difficult situations in my life next time when you find yourself in a hard situation remember that everyone else has to go through the same thank you for watching